grasshopper on the long box. So I have two red springs attached. They are just, just enough so that the carriage doesn't move. Um, we're not going to move the carriage. There's so so the springs are really not not that important other than they should stabilize the carriage and uh, not make it slide out of your way. Uh, I'm gonna lie prone facing the foot bar, and I'm gonna scoot now much further forward than I would usually. So my hands are on the frame or on the on the uh, foot bar, wherever whatever's more comfortable for you on your machine. And I'm gonna slide as far as my hip bones just on the edge of the box. So there should still be on the edge of the box. I went a little too far. Okay, so hip bones on the edge, edge of the box, uh, not in front of it, hands on the frame or the foot bar. My legs are in external rotation and slightly uh, apart. So let's actually start just with the pivoting motion and the uh, sort of swan dive movement. So I'm bending my elbows and lifting my legs and I'm tipping forward and then I'm straightening my arms, my legs come down and I lift up. This is sort of the, um, the basic, the foundational movement of the grasshopper as well. What we see a lot is that the upper body goes down and then the legs lift and the legs drop and the upper body goes down. So that's not a full body connection. The really important thing is that there is a continuous line connection from the crown of the head all the way to the toes. So my legs, I, I would recommend you think about lifting your legs, leading with the legs, allowing the upper body to react forward and then leading with the head or the chest and allowing the lower body to react down. So my head, my mind, my attention is in my legs on the way forward and it's in my upper body on the way up. My legs lead the way and my upper body leads the way, okay? If you've done this now, you've probably felt whether the pivoting point is in the right place so whether you're far enough forward or not far enough forward. If you're not far enough forward, so if I scoot back, then I pivot right on my stomach, right in the navel, and that feels very, very bad. So um, you need to come further forward than that. But if you are too far forward and your hip bones are in front of the box, then it's, um, it's kind of scary to tip forward. And I find it's not as easy to activate the bones uh, here. So again, um, hip bones just on the box, and then this actually feels like a quite natural pivoting point. Now if you go a little further, let me show you actually with my hands on the foot bar, it's the same thing, they're just slightly further forward. Now if we're doing the actual grasshopper, I'm going to tip forward, I'm going to bend my knees, and then I'm going to straighten my legs, kick my inner thighs together, open and close, open and close a few times until my arms are straight. Okay, so I'm gonna bend my knees as I tip forward, check the shoulder alignment, and then on the way up, I'm straight my, straightening my legs, kicking uh, the legs open and close. One more time, tip forward, and then basically some heel beats on the way up. Okay, to come down, just slide off the, slide off the box. There is your swan dive and grass. Thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed this, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already. And if you'd like to see more cool information, head over to PilatesEncyclopedia.com. I'll see you next time.